The city of Birmingham, England was recently announced as the host for the 2027 Invictus Games, the annual sporting competition founded by Prince Harry for wounded, injured, and sick military personnel and veterans. But one notable name will be absent from the event, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. It was revealed earlier this year that Disney has severed ties with Meghan Markle, effectively excluding her from participating in or attending the 2027 Invictus Games in Birmingham. This abrupt split comes after a string of controversies and missteps involving the Duchess of Sussex, who had previously aligned herself closely with the media giant. But before we continue, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The relationship between Meghan and Disney first began in 2020, shortly after she and Prince Harry stepped back from their royal duties. Markle narrated the nature documentary Elephant for the company's new streaming service Disney+. Plus. In what was seen as her first major post-royal project, the move was viewed by many as Meghan and Harry's attempt to forge a new media and entertainment path outside the constraints of the British royal family. Disney appeared eager to align itself with the glamorous, globally recognized former royal, no doubt hoping to capitalize on her star power and massive social media following. However, the partnership was short-lived as Meghan's controversial behavior and public missteps soon began to overshadow any potential benefits to Disney. Industry insiders say the company eventually decided her public image had become too much of a liability. The final straw seemingly came earlier this year, when Meghan faced a major backlash over her conduct at the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Footage showed the Duchess, clad in all black, appearing to deliberately avoid acknowledging or interacting with other members of the royal family including Prince William and Kate, the Princess of Wales. Many viewers were outraged by what they perceived as Meghan's disrespectful and inappropriate behavior during the solemn event. The incident reignited long-standing tensions between the Sussexes and the rest of the Windsor clan, and appeared to be the last straw for Disney. Disney has made the decision to part ways with Meghan Markle, a source close to the company confirmed. Her recent actions and the resulting outcry have become too much of a distraction and liability. They feel it's best to sever ties at this point. This means Meghan will not be involved in any capacity with the 2027 Invictus Games in Birmingham, an event very close to the heart of her husband Prince Harry. The Duke, who founded the Games in 2014, is expected to attend and participate as usual, but his wife will noticeably be absent. The Invictus Games hold deep personal meaning for Harry, who himself served in the British Army and has been a passionate advocate for military veterans and their families. The international competition allows injured, wounded, and sick service members and veterans to compete in adaptive sports. It has become one of Harry's most meaningful charitable endeavors. Meghan has accompanied Harry to past Invictus Games events, often sitting in the stands to cheer on the competitors. She has also participated in various initiatives and programs related to the Games. But with Disney now cutting ties, it appears she will be excluded from the 2027 event in Birmingham. This latest snub comes amid a series of high-profile setbacks for Meghan, who has struggled to maintain her public image and relevance since stepping back from royal life. Disney's decision is the latest blow, and it remains to be seen how the Duchess will respond. Some royal watchers believe this could mark the beginning of the end of Meghan and Harry's ambitions to establish themselves as global megastars and media influencers. The couple famously signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify after relocating to California, but have thus far failed to deliver any major projects or content. This is a major blow for Meghan and Harry's aspirations, said royal commentator Penny Thornton. Disney was one of their last remaining high-profile partnerships. Without that platform and visibility, it's going to be increasingly difficult for them to sustain their celebrity status and push their brand. 